Welcome to another episode of Discover St. Cloud, Florida. I'm Kristen McCary, and I'm here with your host, Janine Corcoran, broker for the Corcoran Connection, a real estate company. And so we are in February 2022, Mm -hmm. and a lot of questions that we get around this time of year from people that are not necessarily from here, they're transplants, Mm. Um, and they come come down here and they find out that a that their kids don't have off for President's Day. They have off for this thing called Rodeo Day. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite times of year. Yep. So I figured what a great time, but to talk about that and tell people, you know, I mean, I don't think a lot of people understand the history of Rodeo Day. And, and I mean, like, what is Rodeo Day? Well, first of all, you know, this is Osceola County. This is a big deal. It's a big deal. I mean, the actual arena is in Kissimmee, but it's borderline St. Cloud. It's very close. And, and St. Cloud is in, you know, uh, Osceola County. So big, big deal. Um, so they, they give the kids off rodeo day every year because the rodeo is in town and it's, and I think the fair starts a week before, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, it county does. fair. And then, um, the rodeo starts on the 18th, which is a Friday. That is the night I always go. Yep. Yep. I love the rodeo. I, 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 listen, I used to go to the rodeo before they were even in the arena and it used to be outside and you would be, I mean, it was hot. Yeah. Yeah. It was just, and it was small. Right. Yeah. Do you remember that? You I were do. a kid. I do remember. It was very dusty and mm-hmm. like, you know, and it was outdoors and, and it really depended. I mean, sometimes it was hot, like if, especially if it was during the day, which I mean, like, listen, heat and animal droppings aren't yeah. exactly the best, you know, pairing. But um, I do remember that. But then we had a couple of cold times, too. I do remember like being like super bundled up and going out and, and, and what comes along with the rodeo. Not only is a rodeo in town, but they have this giant fair. So it's like definitely the big attraction for Osceola County for the year. Absolutely. And um, the kids get uh, free tickets or something from school. Don't they yeah, give out? They like, don't do free tickets anymore. You do oh, get don't? discounted or or you might get free like entry. I don't really remember. I think it's discounted entry on Rodeo Day at the fair. But um, regard, listen, they go anyway. They enjoy it. But do you know what the history of Rodeo Day is? Like why it started? Or I mean, like, because what even is that? Like, <laughs> if you're not it's from so around here. People, you know, it's so hard for people, especially coming from other states. It, it just sounds so foreign. You know, like seriously, like the kids don't have off for the students don't have off for President's Day, but they have off for Rodeo Day. But it is a big it's a big thing. It's part of the culture in Osceola County. Right. Um, And so the story, if I'm remembering it correctly, help me along. Yeah. So so (laughs) the story as I've heard it growing up was was from from some of the more more, um, you know, the longtime locals. Right. The people who kind of grew up in Osceola County. I mean, I grew up in Osceola County, but I was long, you know, much further past, you know, as far as like you know, in age, they're, they're older people here. Um, but from what I understand is when the rodeo would come to town, so many kids would miss school to see the rodeo, right? To do the 4-H fair. To do the 4-H fair, show their animals that they raised. You know, there's a big farming community, like very agriculturally, agriculturally friendly. Um, and so they would, skip school and so i think at that some point you know the osceola county school board was just like if you can't beat them join them (laughs) sorry mr president we're not going to (laughs) celebrate president's day but we're going to give these kids off for the rodeo and uh that's how the rodeo was born so or the rodeo day was born for the schools was born yeah no no, that's 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 pretty uh pretty neat pretty neat uh stuff (laughs) and did you find out what year it started because i felt like it was you know 50s yeah Yeah, so uh, apparently prior to actually starting there were a bunch of um silver spurs riding club and different things like that but anyway so rodeo day started 1953 and the actual rodeo um the midwinter rodeo which is february which is what we're in um started in 1951 in the in the current um facility where it is it's been rebuilt since then in the 2000s 2003 i believe but and but it was um at that original place and so they say it's the 148th silver spurs but i don't think that's one annually because the rodeo happens at the times during the year this is a right. big one because that would have been like in the 1800s yeah. and i don't know i mean <laughs> no. like listen somebody's gonna have to call silver spurs we might we should have done some research somebody look it up and let us know um but that's pretty cool i mean when I, whenever cool. i have people you know it's 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 Whenever I have people move here, it's one of the things that if I could pass along that everyone needs to do is to go to the rodeo. I mean, I I love Friday nights, um, the first night of the rodeo opening. It's my favorite time to go. Um, They do square dancing. They've been doing that for a long time, square dancing on horseback. I mean, they do 
they um, chase the calves like they let all at one point um, I was gonna say before halftime now that's football <laughs> <laughs> they let the kids go down into the arena the young kids mm-hmm. but there's hundreds of them and they chase these calves that have little ribbons on their tail it's the cutest thing but you know sometimes kids get hurt um, so finally I talked um, Kristen's daughter Olivia a few years ago because she would never want to go down or we we'd go down too late and miss it so finally the past few years um, we got her down there on time to make sure she could run and I think she was trampled, <laughs> trampled or something <laughs> someone knocked her over <laughs> and she wouldn't go back anymore so I think she went twice and she said never again yeah but um I do have a grandson that's five but I would just throw him down there because he would probably be the one knocking down everybody but right. you know get him put his cowboy boots on and <laughs> oh he would love it he would eat it up I just I think it's the greatest thing it's really cool to still like you know, keep some of those traditions, right? I mean, that's kind of what Osceola County was built on. Um, and so to, to kind of keep doing that. And we actually have, you know, friends that still, their kids raise, you know, livestock or oh, sure, whatever and, and come out and show and bring the, you know, bring the animals to market. And so it's really cool for them to get to show that off and, and, you know, and, and the, that the schools honor that for us too is cool. You know, the kids don't have to miss it. So it's, it's definitely a unique thing. I always love like, you know, when family from other places posts things about being off for President's Day. And I'm like, yeah, but you don't get off for Rodeo, <laughs> rodeo Day. day. <laughs> now, I don't know. Those of you who don't, don't know, we, you know, Kristen used to ride. We owned horses at one time. And, and, and so um, love that. But the part I love most is the bull riding. Um, I saw, I caught someone's blog when I was online today and it was saying the, the 10, 10, um, common words that you should know in, in a rodeo, which is quite funny. But anyway, um, yeah, love, love the bull riding. I used to actually sit, I have a good friend that also, um, every year we would go to the rodeo, but I haven't been going with her. She stopped going for some reason, but, um, we'd always sit right behind, right behind the bullpen. Um, you know, just watch the cowboys get on the bulls and watch the bulls, you know, in their pen. It's pretty cool. It's very, um, suspenseful. And then when I was, um, when I was first dating my my husband now, you know, the, those questions you ask um, when you're dating, like, what do you do for fun or what's your one thing? And his was, oh, in January, I go to the races. And I said, okay, well, in February, I go to the rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> and he almost fell over. He's like, huh? I was like, I go to the rodeo. The rodeo's in town. He's like, what? And he's like, like, like you wear cowboy boots? I was like, yeah. He's like, you go to the rodeo and you wear cowboy boots. Yeah. Every February. I was like, yeah, I won't miss it. I said, I go to the rodeo. And so that was quite, so now he goes all the time. He thinks it's fun. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, it is. it's, it's a cool a, experience. It is. I, you know, I don't know, you know, but I love that kind of stuff. So. I know. And listen, and the kids, they do love the fair. The fair's in town all week and they have different specials for different nights. Like the first day that it opens, it's cause it opens the week, you know, leading up to the rodeo. Um, you know, they have specials like where they have discounted tickets and then they have, um, you know, car load night where like a certain number of people in a car get in for a certain, you know, five dollars or whatever so yeah. there's there's cool things that they do for the kids and it's I a lot stay of fun away from the fair all right listen <laughs> <laughs> hi i'm not going to the fair i'm not bringing the grandkids to the fair i'll bring us the rodeo you can have the fair <laughs> but they have funnel cake and yeah, deep fried cake, oreos yeah, yeah, yeah. and like all the terribly good stuff it's right about time for your diet to expire for the year so um it's great but it's a lot of fun um a lot of you know the kids really enjoy it and i think it's a pretty cool I think it's really cool that we're still continuing on with the tradition, tradition even though absolutely. it's, you know. And believe me, the, the 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 people that come to the rodeo, the people that participate in the rodeo, they come from all over the national. Like, right. It's a big thing here. Right. It's there's like, campers. There's yeah. all sorts of stuff. Like they're not just it's serious from St. Cloud. Yep, it is. It is. So it's really cool that, um, you know, that that happens. And so that is coming up Friday the 18th is when the rodeo, it, when rodeo day is right that's when the kids have off of school but i think the fair if i'm not mistaken starts the 18th through the 20th you can get get into the actual rodeo for 20 dollars a ticket I, I believe the children might be less um and then the fair tickets adults are five to eight dollars three to five for the kids and the fair so it's reasonable okay that's awesome i was trying to look and see if i could find the dates really quick um for when the um when the actual fair is in town like for what date it starts i want to say it's the 10th um february 11th 11th mm-hmm. okay i was close it was very mm-hmm. close so just want to make sure about that so um anyway that's a really cool 
really so cool So that's the Friday before. Right. Yeah, the 11th and the next Friday is a rodeo at the 18th. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So if you haven't, if you've just moved here to Florida, you've been here a few years and you've never gone to the rodeo, you have to at least go once. Kind of like bun- bungee jumping. You know, you have to do it once. You know, at least, you know, maybe you'll get hooked and maybe you won't. Maybe you'll say, I did it, check it off my list. But I'm telling you, it is so much fun. And the music and it's just, it's just so alive and, and just so much fun. It I is. I don't know and what else to tell you. This is, um, if we, you know, I don't think we mentioned it, but it's actually out at Osceola Heritage Park. So if you're um, coming from the St. Cloud area, if you're heading west um, into the Kissimmee area, it'll be on your right hand side after the turnpike kind of down by um gateway high school um they have tons of you know signs for parking etc you'll see it you can't miss it you can't miss it they'll be setting up i'm sure um a couple of days leading up to a big big event in this county so um go do it enjoy it don't forget your cowboy boots uh a lot of a lot of the women and the men they all wear their cowboy hat i don't um, I think Olivia did one year. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you definitely have to wear your cowboy boots. I mean, I, I, at least I think that's what you should yeah. do. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And there's so much like good, I, I feel like this, this is going to turn into a food podcast, but there's really so, <laughs> good. so much, I must be hungry food. right now, but it's, they have so much good. Um, there's a lot of local vendors will go out and they'll serve. Yeah, like yeah. I know the barbecue places, they'll, they'll yeah, usually yeah. sit up a mm-hmm. pit, um, out at the fair. So definitely want to go check that out. Um, it's de- going to be fun. So, uh, it starts on Friday the 11th is when the fair starts and then it'll the 18th is the big the big rodeo night yeah, so go to that friday night it's good yeah you, you don't want to miss out 7 30 yeah so uh thanks so much for joining us for another episode of discover st cloud florida you can find us uh pretty much wherever you listen to podcasts check us out on youtube give us a subscribe a like thumbs up uh let us know how we're doing if you have any topics you want to cover um any questions for us you know let us know uh, and we will see you in the next episode